Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back! Boy, it's been a hot minute, hasn't it? <laughs> um, I'm Renee, this is Lovely Lavender Wishes. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be Bible journaling. Um, so, a disclaimer before we start today. Um, I've, I am copying or imitating a page that I saw Kimberly over at his palette do. She um, used a printable called, I think it's called My Father's Eyes. Um, I had this printable. I'm really, really trying. I, I wish I bought the printable. I don't have her printable. I wish I bought it. Um, I'm just trying to save money as much as I can right now, even though I kind of slacked the other day when I went to the dollar store. If you see my previous video, uh, I'm trying to save money. I'm switching careers and switching a few things. I'm also, um, I'm in a lot of like transition right now. Um, also going to a lot of PT, trying to physical therapy, trying to get all my health back, as well as um, writing my other book, and everything else going on, traveling and everything else. But anyways, so I am using this printable um, that I found in my folder on the computer because I'm trying to use up what I have. So if you get a chance, go over to his palette and check out the printable. The eyes are gorgeous. And I, I might still get that printable, but I'm really trying to hold off. So I'm trying to use what I have. So I have this printable. It's, and I just printed it um, in two different sizes because I wasn't sure what size I was going to use. So I tore this one out. I think I'm going to use this, this one. So I'm imitating her page that she did, but a little bit differently. Again, using the material I have. Um, taking that inspiration, making it my own, which I always do. Um, yeah, <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. But if you get a chance, go look at his palette. Um, she's got some incredible printables. I love her printables. Um, there's a few companies that I really, really enjoy their printables. His palette is one of them, as well as Charlene Warwick's, um, Soul Sisters, um, or Art Inspirations, um, and a few others. But I'm trying to use what I have, y'all. I really am. <laughs> trying to be good. So anyways, I hope you are all having a blessed week. Welcome back. I know it's been a while. I've been in a lot of transition and I'm still working on that. But today we're going to be in Second Chronicles and we are going to be focusing on chapter 16 verse 9. And I'm going to highlight it here for the eyes of the Lord. Oops. <laughs> Run to and fro throughout the whole earth to give strong support to those whose heart is blameless toward him. So what's happening here, um, I was going to try to find an eraser, and we'll erase this part that I mistakenly, you can, you know, you can erase colored pencil a little bit. <laughs> you might not get it all off, but you can erase a lot of it. Um, but anyways, um, talking about the eyes of the Lord running to and fro the whole earth to give strong support to those whose heart is blameless toward them. And I love this phrase here, strong support. So let me give you a little background on what's going on here. So King Asa is the king of Judah. Um, the king of Judah. And at this point, he goes, he doesn't remember all the things that the Lord has taught him over this time. Um, he hasn't remembered all the victories the Lord has given him over this time. And that's one good thing about writing a um, gratitude journal is sometimes you can go back and remember what the Lord has done for you. But what he, what's happening here, Asa or Asa is going to make a treaty um, to strengthen himself with, he's making a treaty with a pagan king, because again, he's not remembering what the Lord is done. He's not trusting in the Lord. Um, so, but God, what God wanted him to do was to remember the great victories of the past, what the Lord has done for him in the past. But Asa, Asa has failed to remember that. Um, he failed to remember all the victories and all the ways God supported him and helped him in the past. Um, so a uh, prophet called Hanani, a seer, comes to Asa and says, because you relied on the king of Syria, Syria was the king that he um, made a treaty with, and did not rely on the Lord your God, the army of the king of Syria has escaped you. Were not the Ethiopians and the Libyans a huge army with very many chariots and horsemen? So he, in the past, Asa fought against the Ethiopians and Libyans, and God gave him victory. But Asa forgot that, right? So he's saying, because you relied on the Lord back then, the Lord gave them into your hand because the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole 
earth to give strong support to those whose heart is blameless. But he's saying, now you've done foolishly in this. So from now on, you're going to have wars. So that's so sad because he, because Asa didn't trust in the Lord this time when he did previous times. Now he is going to be wrought with wars for the rest of his reign. Okay. So the message here is pretty clear. Okay. God looks like that. He is actively looking for ways to defend and show his strength on behalf of those committed to him. Um, here, Asa feared that God couldn't be trusted, but God wanted to show his strength. Isn't that cool that God wants to show his strength in our lives when we trust in him? I love that. So God wants to do it. So we got to let him do it. And what this verse is, is kind of reminding me is that nothing, like absolutely nothing escapes God's eyes. God governs the world um, for the good of his people, right? Um, so the issue is not here, the issue wasn't whether God, God's strength or his willingness to protect, protect his people. No, the issue is, is the loyalty of our hearts towards God. Cause God can do it. God can do anything, but will he do it? He'll do it for those whose hearts are loyal to him. And that's kind of what this is encapsulating for me. So let's get crafting. Let's get scrapbooking or, you know. Bible journaling. Um, so we are going to, might as well just glue this. Let me find my glue stick. Oh, I'm not prepared. Glue stick. We'll just glue this on the page already. So I'm just getting, again, I am just using a printable I had probably from Google. Um, just, you know, a free printable. Um, but yeah, definitely either use what you have or go check out some of the printables at all these other companies and businesses. So I am imitating her page a little bit. Um, I have this Tim Holtz and I have this Hickory Smoke. And let me grab, uh, let me, I'm just going to grab like a scrap paper here just to protect the page. And I have this brush. I got a bunch of these from Amazon, I think it was. And so we are going to Oh, I might not. There we go. <laughs> Whoa, that, that came kind of dark right there, that one. So I'm going over the paper here. And I don't mind if I have dark spots, light spots. And I can always go in, since this is distressed ink, I can always go in with a paper towel, wet paper towel, and get rid of some of this dark. If I don't like it that dark, I can go in and, you know, with water, but I'm going to be using water anyways. So I'm just going to dab up some of that extra ink. Um, let's have this come kind of come down a little bit. Let's do, trying to get it in this little Crevice. And I'm bringing it over onto the picture. And let's do a little bit there. And then we're going to carry it over onto this page. Wow. Some of this, I think I still have some water in here because I can see like how some of it's coming out real dark. Some of it's coming out real light. Probably still have some water in my brush and depending on how hard I'm smooshing it down. I just want some light down there. Ooh, ooh, I love that. A little bit. Let's dab some of that up. If you can see, it get, does get a little lighter. So if you don't like it, just dab it up. No biggie. I'm going to put some light down there. Let's put some light right there. Okay. Oh, I like that. And I think, yeah, I'm just going to kind of keep that for now. Okay. 
So the next thing I'm going to do, let me just spritz this real quick, which got on the page. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe this off just real quick, just so I get a lot of that ink off so I'm not making a mess. I can wash it later. Put that to the side, dab all that up, dab, dab, dab. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna use the smooshing technique. So I have my little, uh, um, acrylic board here. Let me make sure I'm on camera and move this over so you can all see. Oh, I got too much stuff on my desk. Okay, I've got a little plastic baggie. I have this blue, which is faded jeans and this evergreen bow because the, the colors in the eyes are like blue and green. So I wanna play off those colors. So I'm gonna use that blue. Spritz, spritz. And I'm gonna take the baggie. And we are going to just do some squishing, just in a few areas. Now, because this is distress ink and I'm putting water on this, this might react with the ink already in the back. So I'm kind of watching it. I just want some color on there. Um, let's do... And so you can kind of watch it and make sure it's not going to react too much with, with that. I want this to kind of grunge up. And actually, where did that ink go? I'm not gonna spritz it with water now. I'm gonna have a few darker spots like that. The less you spritz with water, the darker and less watery it'll be. So I wanted to have some watery spots and then some. Spots like that. Okay, let me grab my heating tool real quick. Let's try this. Go in with some green. Actually, I'm gonna wipe this off so I don't mix it. Oh, my acrylic is messy. I'm really gonna have to scrape and wash that off. So now I'm just putting the green on. I'm gonna just do one little squirt. squirt. <laughs> one spritz. It was spritz and squirt at the same time. So I gotta spritz. Actually, I want that to be a little more diluted, there we go. So it looks more blue-green to match the eyes. Cute, dab some of that up. Is it bringing out the green in the eyes? I think so. This is an easy way to grunge up a page very quickly is this technique or just like slopping it on. Just you can take a brush and just slop it on the page as well. But you can really grunge up a page quickly this way and get some color on there. Now, I am not doing exactly what uh, Kimberly did. She did a live. So if you're not a member of his palette uh, Facebook group, you can check that out as well. She does some really great live videos and such. And a lot of times I can't watch the whole live because I'm traveling on weekends or I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm always catching like bits and pieces here and there. Um, or I'll fast forward through them if I can. 
Okay, so I grabbed these washi tapes. Um, this one is like a map of the world. So I kind of like that because it says it's he's his eyes are running to and fro throughout the whole earth. And then this is just like this blue and then this blue green. So I'm going to tear this. And again, I always get my washi tapes from... Where do I get them from? Uh, either Amazon, AliExpress or the little craft shop, craft store here in Houston. Um, ugh, trying to get it off my finger. Put that there. So we're gonna just kind of tear these. You don't need a lot. And we're just gonna add a few little pieces here or there. And yes, I'm going to cover up some of these words. Don't y'all freak out on me. <laughs> but, um, oh, I like that dark right there. Ah. Okay, come on. Now, the beauty of washi tape is you can pull it up. You know what? I'm going to keep that. And keep that. Let me throw these pieces away. Let's do. You can um, pull washi tape up if it's not the way you like it. Uh, I don't like that going all the way over there. So I'm going to. That didn't work. Okay, let's just tear it. There we go. There, I like that better. We'll cut this off. I know when I first started. Um, oh, and welcome to all the new members. I've had some emails of lots of new people who have discovered the channel. So welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you're here and you're starting Bible journaling. I know it can be scary starting at first because I remember my first time I was so afraid to do something in my Bible or mess up my Bible or whatever it may be, but you can't. You can't mess it up. Just go in, have fun with it. Um, it's just, I'm going to put this one up here. I think. Um, you really can't mess it up. And if you make a mistake on your page, you can always cover it up with a sticker or something. But I don't think they're mistakes. I think it's part of our journey. Um, I have some pages that I don't like from the past um, that I'm like, oh, I really, you know, didn't like my technique on this page or it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to or whatever it may be. But I'm still glad I have it um, because it's fun kind of looking back on it and being like, oh, okay, yeah, it wasn't exactly how I wanted it to turn out. But, um, you know, I still had fun doing it or it was a cool learning experience or whatever it may be. Okay, I do not like that. Blech. Don't like that. Whatever this. You know, I'll, I am like probably overthinking this way too much, but we're just gonna keep having fun with this. Just start sticking. Just stick. Just stick it. I'm gonna put this one at the top again because it's got that straight line. Oh, all these little pieces. just do a thicker one right about here. Mm. I don't even know if I 
like that. Maybe that off the page, but then it looks like, I don't know, for some reason it's not, not speaking to me either. don't know and then I'm just gonna put one down here just because I like that um let's do a little bit more brown get some of this brown world in here whoops where's the end help there we go <laughs> and I'm trying not to ruin my nails because <sighs> I just literally did them the other day So I have been traveling a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh, I like that. Let's do that over here too. I've been in and out of town quite often. And uh, that's been taking up a lot of my time as well. So I like that. So I haven't been able to get as many videos done or as many crafts as I want. And it's just, it's been a crazy time, but it's all good. Okay, we're going to have that one. Maybe come here, maybe. Yeah, that kind of, I don't know what that did, but it helped that part. Okay, that's it with the washi tape. Okay, got it all down. Now let's. Cut these pieces off so they don't stick. To things. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do to grunge up the page even more is... What am I going to do? <laughs> okay. I have... Let me think. Okay, I want to do some of this light and fluffy modeling paste, but I also want to bring in some of this brown. So I have this beige and this burnt umber, some darker brown and some lighter brown. So I'm going to, oops, yeah, this one's so old. It's, let me see if I can even get it. Oh, you can hear it in there. There we go. Let's see if it's, let's see if I mixed it up at all. There we go. Yes. Bring it back to life. I heard the paint like stuck at the bottom and had to mix with the oil or whatever that is in there. Water. I guess acrylic is an oil. Water based. Okay. So I do cover my paste when it gets that, when it gets down to there to keep it nice and light and fluffy still. Um, okay. I think I only need just a little bit. We're gonna let's make sure that's covered. And I want to bring in some of this dark brown and bring in some of this beige. And I want streaks of it, different streaks. So bring in some of this brown. So I'm gonna kind of just lightly. I do have some clumps on here. Get rid of some of this. Runs this up a little bit. So I'm carrying like this kind of look onto the rest of the page and I'm gonna just dip it within the paint. that too much that's more paint versus texture paste okay so let's get the paste try to get a good angle here ah, okay I'm gonna go like this there we go much better Um, 
almost burned just a little bit down here. I, a lot of this is going to be covered, so this texture paste is getting a little wonky. It's not as fluffy as it used to be. I've had it for a while, and it's been... There we go. There we go. That's kind of the look I want. Okay, let's do some over here. I did not need nearly this much. But that's okay. This is again going to give you texture to your page. If you don't want that much texture, you can just, you know, rub it off, scrape it off. Um, let me think. So I'm just lightly brushing it over and now I'm just kind of smoothing everything out. So we don't have big, big clumps everywhere. But we do have a few. Okay. This will rinse off in a minute. Let me grab another, put that there. Okay, let's dry that. I should have put some down here. Shouldn't I have? Yes, I should have. Just a little bit. Just to kind of. sponge here that I've already used for multiple things, but I'll use like this. I want to use this blue. This is, this one's crisp blue. And then I just grabbed soft apple. Oh, I can hear that. You can hear that. Hopefully I will not mix these two. With the browns just need a little bit i'm just trying to get this blue and green in here and i'm going to use this stencil with these um like little grungy bits and pieces and we are going to let's, let's just use this i'm going to use the blue and the green. I'm kind of kind of mix them both up here. So there's the blue and then on this side I'm going to do the green. Let's see how that looks. here okay, I'm gonna mix those blue greens a little bit okay making sure it's not on the back of this I'm gonna have this come down a little bit as well. maybe go this way try to hold that up because I don't want to mess up this part that's wet. 
So I'm just alternating between the blues and greens. So we get a little bit of that mixed blue greenish kind of color in different areas here, here, and let's do some across the top here. I like these sponges because then you can just kind of shove it into the stencils. I'm going to kind of go in with some green in just a few areas. Get that blue-green feel. Um, let's see. Let's do the side. Oops. It's subtle, but it's there. I'm going to go back in with some darker blue. And I'm going to put some down here. Oops. Let's, oh, hold it. Ah. It's hard to hold this big old stencil. Okay. that going across mm, let's see maybe just a little down here again trying to hold this up so it doesn't mess with the wet paint up there Let's do some green with that blue. So we have the blue and the green. Okay. As of right now, I think that'll be good. Let me just wipe this off. I can put this in a sink afterwards. Just break a lot of that off. Okay, let's dry that. So our page is now officially the one of that. And I'm thinking I want some of this to be push to the back a little bit, just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is take some of this white gesso. Ugh, I'm gonna open it. We'll see how it looks. I'm gonna put some of this on here. Just a little bit. And I'm actually gonna take my finger. over this a little bit in some spots that I think are just a little too jarring, too dark. And it's also grunged up the page even some more. I'm kind of blending a few things into the back a little bit. And it's getting me all nice and dirty, which, you know, is always fun when you're crafting. 
getting your fingers all dirty. Okay, let's put some down here. And then over here. So again, just layer upon layer. If you don't like something, you can always just go right back over it with some ink or some paint or whatever. It's kind of what I'm doing. It got a little too dark for me. So now I'm just kind of pushing it to, towards the back a little bit with this. While that's drying, I have these stickers. Um, this is the Faith sticker pack. I don't know where I got this from. I think Michael's Paper Studio. Um, and it had this cross here, this cross sticker. So I was going to peel this one off. Oh, if I can get it. Help. Okay, I'm going to peel this off. And I'm actually going to cut the cross out. I'm just going to use my little cutter B scissors and just roughly fussy cut this out because I do like having a little border on it oh, my nose is running mm -hmm. so if you have stickers and you don't like like everything on the sticker use bits and pieces of it cut them up there's no rule that says you have to use it the exact way it came or anything like that. Always think out of the box. Think about how you can use things in different ways. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right here because it's the father's eyes. Just like that. And then they have these crosses again in, oh, right here, in this sticker, these little ones. So I'm gonna fussy cut these out as well very quickly so I have them in other parts of the now if you don't have stickers you can draw your own crosses you can use a cross stencil cross stamps whatever you got so we're gonna put some crosses in different areas I might even actually stencil some thinking that might be because I do have a stencil cross too cross stencils or whatever put one up here maybe one over here I'm getting stuff everywhere And the easiest way is you move this hand, keep this hand still, and just move the paper around. That's the easiest way to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to have that one kind of coming off the page. Like so. And then I got this other little one. Might as well use it. And I think I'm going to save it because I think it's going to go down here somewhere. Let's get up in here, up in there a little bit. There we go. Make it look more of a cross. Okay, I'm going to put this one towards the side because I'm going to save that to the end and use that. Okay, so we got our crosses on. 
Another thing, I have this paper. It's like a homemade paper, I guess. It says 50 cents. I must have got it from a store somewhere, Thailand. But it's those, uh, I don't know, that textured paper. And I am going to put some here at the top and some across the bottom here. I'm thinking maybe have it kind of... This is a little harder to tear because it's got all these like fibrous threads in it. But it gives it that really cool texture look too. So I'm thinking it's gonna come out like here, come down. And it's got these purples and blues and greens in it. And I thought that would be perfect for the page to match the eyes. too big but I want some of that to show so yeah we'll put that like right there glue it right there and then let's glue this across the top I'm thinking hmm, maybe I want some of, I want this to show though, some of the, maybe that will go on top. That would look cool on top. Okay. And then that will go there. Okay. So let's put you there. We'll glue you. Okay. Where's my glue? I think um, Kimberly used some corrugated paper on hers, which was pretty cool. I'm just using this again for texture. I'm gonna pull this up and glue it down. That'll stay. And then we're gonna glue the little cross because the sticker probably won't stay too well. Glue that, and I'll just glue this. put a little piece on this side I'm just gonna cut try to cut a straight line across here just tear that out And then I have this other little cross. Uh, let's see. Actually, let me get the title down first. And then we'll see where that guy's going to go. So put that to the side. Okay, so I did have, I do have some stickers that I grabbed. I have these stickers and these stickers. These are like little raised Gosh, I got everything sticking to me. Oh my, these are little raised stickers. Again, I'm using what I have. I have no idea where I got this stuff from. Um, but got it somewhere. Um, I'm gonna put my father's eyes. That's kind of what um that's what uh Kimberly did, and I really liked that, and I like how it I think Kimberly used a different uh verse. I picked this one because I like how it says that his eyes are roaming the earth looking to stay strong for those, to act strong for those, you know, for his children. So I'm going to put father's eyes, let's see, so 
F. And hopefully it'll be straight. <laughs> My stuff is never straight. And I hope I have all the letters. I didn't even look, y'all. But I'm assuming I should have them. Otherwise, we can jerry-rig one. You've seen me do that before. Let me make sure I'm spelling it right, though. And my father's... Do I have an apostrophe? Yes! Fathers. Did that look straight to y'all? Did I actually do it? No, no, I'm talking too early. My father's eyes. Ooh, oh, I have more ease. Let's see, let's do eyes like right about. Um, do we want it there or do we want it over here? Hmm. Kind of like it kind of wonky a little bit. Oops. Oops, I got another apostrophe on me. E Y. Yeah. Ooh, was that my last? Oh no, I had more S's. <laughs> my father's eyes. And then we'll put the cross, maybe like right here, or right here, or right here, or right here. I think right there. Here. Help me. Should we put it right there? And I got like that there, that there, that there. Does that look weird? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see the whole page. Let's move this to the side. Okay, my father's eyes. Oops. Unglue everything. There we go. Okay, well. There's our page for today. It's a little messy, but I'm wondering. Maybe that might be better there. For some reason that was bothering me. Let's do that. And then I'll put the date probably right here. Okay, well, there's our page for today, y'all. So again, we are in, where are we? Second Chronicles 16, verse 9. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to give strong support. I love that. <laughs> to those whose heart is blameless towards him. So he is looking and wanting and searching to support us. It's some, like, I've, I've felt many times that I felt like he deserted me, but I like scriptures like this that show that, of course, he doesn't desert us and he's actually looking to help us. Sometimes it's our hearts that are messing with everything because, um, you know, his love stays strong no matter what. But sometimes, you know, we mess things up or like we kind of shoot ourselves in the foot a lot of times, or at least I know I do. So I like that he is looking to give us strong support. So I love that. So let me bring this up close so y'all can see. So here's that textured paper. You can kind of see the texture. Um, just a lot of layers, but use whatever like eye images you have. And there's the little raised stickers. I like that. It gives it a little three-dimensional feel to it. And then here's the other side, just to carry over. And that's what it looks like. Of course, my page did not turn out anything, anything like um, 
cams over at his palette, but that's fine. I kind of used a lot of her inspiration and just kind of made it my own. So make, make your pages your own using whatever you have, but I love this. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm not sure when that's going to be. My schedule is kind of crazy right now, but you know, we'll do it when we can do it. So stay in the word and have a very blessed week. Bye y'all. Thanks for joining me.